I am here to share some pros and some cons about canvas tents. You might be thinking about getting a new tent and debating whether you should get a canvas tent or some kind of synthetic tent. I'm gonna share the canvas tent side of things and what some of the benefits, what some of the negative things are so that you can make an informed decision. Know that everybody's decision is going to be different and you have to decide what's best for you and the things that you are looking to do. And there are lots of different tents that will be best suited for you in those experiences. The first pro of a canvas tent is how breathable it is. So think back to the last time, if there was a last time, that you spent a few days inside of a tent. If it was a synthetic tent, they tend to feel stuffy after a few days. In a canvas tent, they're a lot more breathable and the air doesn't get so stuffy inside even if you've been camping for days. This also means that the humidity and the moisture doesn't sit on the fabric of the tent like it might for a nylon or polyester. Another pro of a canvas tent is it is a little bit more eco-friendly than other tents. Being that you are using natural cotton and natural fibers to make a canvas tent versus plastics in different forms on synthetic tents means that the fabric is natural, we're not bringing more plastic into the world. Even using recycled plastics, different things like that, it just it's something to think about. Another pro of a canvas tent is it is insulating. They tend to keep the heat in very nicely, even though they're breathable. Canvas tents are also durable. So a canvas tent is known to be able to weather any storm, not any storm, but they are very durable. They'll hold up to the elements. If you leave a canvas tent outside all winter or all summer, it's not going to be severely damaged by the sun, the UV rays. It is also going to be just fine being outside for long periods of time. A canvas tent can rip and if it does they're also easy to repair something i really like about my canvas tent is that it is spacious i'm tall and i can stand up in my canvas tent and the tent that i have is very large typically canvas tents are quite large versus synthetic tents now to the cons. Like I said, canvas tents are typically large. That means they're typically heavier, not only because of the largeness and the scale of the tent, but the canvas that the tents are made of is very heavy. Synthetic materials like nylon and polyester are much, much, much lighter than a canvas tent. My canvas tent is very heavy and I have brought it out and pulled it manually in a sled out to a campsite in the winter along with the wood stove that I use in it and it is a lot of work to move my canvas tent around whereas a synthetic tent oftentimes you can pack it up put it in your backpack and take it on a backpacking trip so something to think about honestly if you're a backpacking camper canvas tent doesn't make a whole lot of sense in that situation so Canvas tents are breathable, but they do get wet. And when a canvas tent gets wet, it takes a long time to dry out versus its synthetic counterparts. If you are camping in a canvas tent, odds are it's winter time. Oftentimes canvas tents are more used in the winter, though they are used in the summer sometimes. But in the winter time, you tend to track snow into your tent or it could snow on the tent and it gets wet. I mean days, we're talking days to dry out your tent. And a big canvas tent that you have to set up to dry after your camping trip, where are you gonna put it, <laughs> right? It's big, do you have a big garage or shed you can put it in or what? And sometimes you can set it up outside and let it dry in the sun, but if it keeps snowing or keeps raining, this is something to think about. Depending on the canvas tent that you have, it might not be that waterproof. My tent that I have personally has been great. It's been snowed on, the snow has melted from the fire inside and the water didn't come in the tent, it just beaded down the outside of the tent. But I do know that other people with canvas tents have talked about how they can leak or they're not super waterproof if you're touching it. So I'm not sure what canvas tent you're looking at, but definitely read the fine details when you're buying one or the reviews that other people have talked about and know that you need a tent that's going to have great sealed seams and sometimes you can get waterproofing sprays to spray on your tent, but then that might take away from some of the breathability. So something to do your research on before purchasing your tent, if you're purchasing one. 
A canvas tent is not easy to set up alone. If you're looking for a tent that is lightweight, portable, and easy to set up, don't get a canvas tent. I can set up my canvas tent by myself, but it is a process. It is not a super fun process by yourself all the time. It takes some patience. It's, um, it's hard because it's so big and because it's so heavy and because there are just so many stakes, especially with mine being this round uh, tent that I have. I mean, it's like a lot. <laughs> it's a lot to set it up. But once it's up, it's so durable. It stays sturdy, even in strong winds. With my canvas tent, it is um, a bell tent. So it just has the center pole in the middle and you'd think that it would sway around a lot. It doesn't, but that's once you have it up and set up very well. The final con of a canvas tent is cost. A canvas tent is typically much more expensive than its synthetic counterparts. Not always, there are some synthetic tents that are as expensive or more expensive than canvas tents, but in general, you're going to pay more money for a canvas tent than a synthetic tent. You are paying for a durable, long lasting tent that can weather the seasons, but depending on what kind of camping you're doing, you might not need that. Maybe it makes more sense to get something lightweight, cost-effective, and easy to transport for your family. Think about the types of camping you're going to be doing and know that everybody's situation is a little bit different. Shout out to the person who recommended I make this video. I love getting recommendations like that. And if you have any recommendations for a future video from me as well, let me know. And I can't wait to see you out there camping in your canvas tent if you get one.